All aboard, it's Jang here with a look at the Playmobil City Action Ambulance with Siren set. I have had this thing in the box for quite some time and on the box it shows it mostly from the back and doesn't really show the shape of the the whole truck, the whole vehicle itself or van, whatever you want to call it. Putting it together and getting the whole thing completed like this gave me a newfound respect for it that I didn't have when I was just looking at the thing in the box. I actually like it quite a lot. It has a lot of uh, a lot of print going around it. it Makes it nice and exciting looking with the, the colors and everything, and it actually has a lot of features. First, let me get some of the stuff opened up. You've got this nice side door that opens here, and of course in the back you can open up both of these doors here. And you can also remove the roof to get easier access to the interior and also to let a lot more light in there so you can really see the thing fully you know, fully lit up and you can also get your hands in there to, to pose figures in there. And to get your figures into the front, to be a driver and passenger when there's no patient back there, you can take the entire front off, which works really nicely. It is called uh, uh, Ambulance with Siren. The siren unit is right here, and it also has lights, so not just the sound, but the lights come on. It uses only one AAA battery in there. That's nice that you don't have to put a bunch of batteries in it. And there are two versions of the siren. So here's one version. And it's gonna change a little. There we go. So that's more the American style, and then pretty much most places other than America is more like this. Very good. And you can just toggle that on and off by pushing the button here. And it's just a little switch on the on the base for the, the two different possible sounds. And the lights turn on and off very easily and very simple. The back of this thing is actually very generously large, as you see from the scale of a figure right there who can stand there and still has plenty of, of standing space next to that, that area. And then there's a, a sitting spot right there where the attendant in the back, the EMT, can, can sit uh, for just doing a little bit of, of easy monitoring of somebody who's not in too much trouble. You've got all this equipment up on the wall, which looks pretty nice. It's a nice little flexible hose right here. This is a ventilator. And uh, let me actually take this person out and I'll bring in the individual. I'll give you a closer look at the figures in a minute, but this is something that would clip under just like that. So that actually works out quite well. Doesn't work well if you have a figure who has uh, an extra uh, piece of clothing on. So a jacket or something uh, could, could get in the way of this. But I, I appreciate that this is able to just be stowed away like so. And then you've also got an IV bag here, a plasma bag, which is hanging and that has a nice little little silicone hose on it as well. And once again, going back to our patient, you can just uh, plug that in, plug that onto their arm like that. Kind of semi-realistic in a way. And I guess I could just attach this up here. It's a little bit more convenient when it's not in use. So this looks nice. And also, look at that. Look at all this extra space off to the side. Plus, you've got a little bit of storage here and a, a fire extinguisher. You can put one of these first aid kits back there, store that. There are two kits included with the set. Uh, can't quite fit both of them in there, maybe if they're on their sides. But it's nice to have all that space. Let me show you how the, the gurney works, like I mentioned. So this is included with the set. It's got the, the wheels on there and you've got a belt set up. So your patient can be placed in there. You can also lift the back so that can be flattened down. You can lift it up that high. Looks pretty good. And you can just strap a person in so they're not going to move. So they're really going to be, be stuck there. It kind of looks like they're trapped, like they're a prisoner. Uh, it's just a little bit, a little bit awkward in that sense, but it's really just for safety. It's really just to make sure that they don't roll off. And this works well with these figures because this is a, a silicone rubber. It's actually stretched a little bit and it holds onto them. You see, this, this guy's not going to fall off. That's good. And then the legs of this can fold up. You can slide this right onto here and there's kind of a little track going down the center that will grab the center of this once it gets right about to the middle. Should grab it. I think I feel it. Do I feel it? Oops. Ah, I had the legs in the way. Here we go. Try that again. There it goes. Slides right into place and now he's secure. Look, it doesn't slide out. It's actually grabbing onto it. It's actually holding onto it a little bit. So that works out really, really nicely. And you still have enough room to have one EMT 
back there. You could have a family member who's coming along. Look, you can have somebody else back there. There's just so much space. That's, that's the, the biggest positive surprise about this thing is how much space they have back here and how much, uh, how much stuff that you can do. Close all that up and bring the roof back on. Just clips right on there. Still see inside, you know, it still has some windows so you can get a little bit of light in there. And then up in the front, of course, you can, like I said, you know, just have your, your regular figures just seated in a normal way with vehicles. And the whole thing just, I don't know, I think it's just phenomenally well done for what it is. It's a pretty perfect ambulance, in my opinion. You even have a little trailer hitch on the back so you can pull something along. How cool is that? Here's a closer look at the two EMT figures that are included with the set. They even have different jackets on. One's more of a, a vest. Both high visibility, nicely printed, nice little, little logos that are printed onto the arms as well. You know, nice little uh, bit of variance between them. They're not too consistent. I, I always appreciate how Playmobil does their figures, even when they're going for multiple people who are supposed to be from the same theme and on the same team, if you will, of you know, jobs that they're doing, they still don't put them in the exact same clothing. So it's not like you're getting two of the same figure with just different hair or something. It really feels like you're getting two distinct different people. And uh, one of them has the clipboard there with a, uh, could be a checklist or some records. And then each of these has a first aid kit, as I mentioned before and briefly showed you, but I'm just gonna open this up, show you that there's a little insert in there with a sticker to indicate some of the small equipment. That's one of them. Guess what, the other one has the same ability to open up and they just have a different sticker on it. So looking at those two compared to each other, just a, another little bit of variance. Too bad that you know they don't have stuff that's small enough to actually be able to take out, but the smallest Playmobil instruments and implements uh, wouldn't fit in here because I think they had to be large enough to, to be safe for younger kids. This cyclist is included to represent a patient. So the idea is that you know, he might get into a bit of an accident and, and fall off his bike at high speed and need some medical attention. So they include somebody who you can actually give help to and they include that bike, which is a really nice bike. And it also includes the clear stand. So you can make it stand up and actually make it look like he's riding the thing along. I think that's, that's really cool. I also appreciate his helmet. And there's just a better look at the detail and the, the print on the front of him. He's got his cool shades on and it's the circle style of, of uh, hair. So you can put different types of, of uh, headgear on there. It's just changeable. It's in a really dark orange kind of kind of color. Again, just, you know, changing things up. So three different figures have three different faces, three different torsos and three different uh, hair pieces even. Very cool. So yeah, I am very, very happy with this ambulance. I think it's just phenomenally well done. I think that it has all the play value that the kid in me could ever have asked for in an ambulance set, plus a little bit, maybe even more than I would have expected would you know, help me to come up with more scenarios that I, I wouldn't have imagined initially. It gives you good access to the interior. It's sturdy, it holds on to the figures where you want, and I think it looks good from the outside. And it has a nice amount of detail in the, the siren and the lights. It's just another little bonus. Yeah, I am really happy with this one. Let me know what you think by leaving a quick little comment on the video if you would like to. I appreciate that. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you again very soon.